So let's say when it's going to be coding, at least for coding perspective, I would say, don't go with this thing that just because it's famous that you want to do. Like I have seen now really suddenly there is this trend of everybody wanting to be a data scientist. Like why? There are different segments of tech, right? There is development side of it, right? Um, then there's the testing side of it. Then there is cloud. Now, since with a lot of data, understanding and analyzing data. So how do you how do you see these opportunities? In undergrad, we are very theory based. Right now, even now also, right? Uh, uh, that's how it was. So in association with the theory, what additional should I I can maybe in think so at least from my side of experience what i feel is so first let's say you're a computer science engineer and you want to go into the field and there are multiple sectors like how you told right there is development there's testing there's user design first try to understand what is it in for you and you don't have to completely understand but if there are five different six things so today if they think about tech is not only about coding there are so many different things so understand the profile and then start applying for internships i feel like internship is a really good way Having said that, when I have done intern later, I have gone to BSNL, I've done lab you uh, things. So when you try your hands at different things, you'll know what your strengths are or what your passion is. So let's say in that case, you are trying to understand and learn that's going to be coding. Now, again, in coding, once you have narrowed down, understand what are the industries which is there. Uh, the more you keep on doing one step further, you will start getting opportunities along the way. You will be exposed, like maybe you might come across a hackathon. Maybe you'll read an article. Maybe you'll meet somebody who's done it. The world will, the rules will start bringing you close at that point. So let's say when it's going to be coding, at least for coding perspective, I would say, don't go with this thing that just because it's famous that you want to do. Like I have seen now really suddenly there is this trend of everybody wanting to be a data scientist. Like why? I, I was about to say that. Yeah. Just because that's the job now, don't do it. Do it only if you're passionate passionate about it and you feel good doing it. But yeah, like she said, keep trying out things. Like nowadays, a lot of people maintain such cool GitHub repositories, you know, where uh, they try out things. Probably someone else has already tried it. That's fine. They still try out a lot of things of their interest, push, keep their code over there and... Uh, you have a lot of learning avenues and there's a lot of free courses as well. So it's not enough just if you're with your textbook and, yeah. you know, passing your exams and getting and a also, good percentage. Uh, as we said that, right, I feel like now there is this one thing of following the fad which has been going and also about do limit it, but then be really good at it. Like when I just started my career, there was at least during my time, it was the thing about learning multiple long languages. Like you should know what five, six oh, languages. Okay. Yeah, it was around okay. that point. And when I used to meet people, they'd be like, one will be like, learn Python. One was Java. One was learn JavaScript. I was very confused about what I learned. Then I met a generation of engineers who are solid, who knew only C++ or C. Then I understood if you're so strong in one language, you can always make a parallel transition to multiple things. Yeah. Then I just stuck with Java. I'm still now stuck with Java. So if it's going to be some other language, I'll try to relate it to that. Obviously, you need to have the ability to go for multiple things. But don't try out little and try to reduce on what you have to go for and go depth into something. And then you will be able to figure out what you have to take, uh, you know, more into, oh, you have learned this coding language. Then you become more better. Now, understand, oh, is there something like a backend, for example, when it comes to engineering. So try first a breadth-wise approach and then go depth-wise, then it will be easier. Actually.